Okay, I've got a quick request actually before we start, and that's to subscribe to me on this channel, Sea Fishing Marks. It would be great if you could. You'll get little notifications um, when a new video comes out, which I'm trying to do every week now. Um, and hopefully, even though you don't, you might not want to make some of these rigs, there'll be some there that you'll need one day, hopefully. Um, so think of it as a reference. But it'd be great to have you on board and have your comments as well. I'd love to know what you think of these videos. So quick disclaimer, um, I've never caught a taupe. I've never even fished for taupe. So what I've done is I've contacted three prominent anglers around the country. And this is an amalgamation really of, of the taupe rigs they use um, and the advice that they've given me as well. These are top guys. Um, they have caught fish up to 40 pounds. And uh, this is some of the advice really that I've put together to do this rig. So we're going for larger swivels. We're going to make a pulley rig. Um, we're using larger swivels. And apparently these help also when you're handling the fish. So if you've actually got a fish on, you're going to need to get it over the rocks. Those can be a lot easier um, just moving the fish around. Uh, circle hooks seem to be the order of the day. It obviously depends on what um, bait you're using. So do look into that. But for now, tying this rig, we're going to use these 50445 Sakuma. Uh, they're really strong as well, actually, that pattern. And I think that's the main thing there. Now, I thought that we'd be using wire, but um, the people I've spoken to have caught taupe. Um, they prefer using really thick mono, um, 200 pound breaking, uh, breaking strain. So we're going to tie the knot with that. Um, and then the beads as well. We've got 8 mil beads here. All we're doing is a simple pulley rig. Uh, it's just a little bit harder because we're tying it in mono. So let's have a quick go at putting this rig together. So you start off with this mono. You can actually buy it in the tackle shops in lengths rather than buy a whole spool of it because it works out quite expensive, this sort of line. Um, so what you want to do is cut. Uh, you're going to have a 6 foot trace all in on this pulley rig. And we'll show you how that works in a minute. But for now, cut a 3 foot length and tie a swivel on the end of it. Now the turn with this swivel isn't going to be the four or five turns. You're only going to do four because you won't be able to tighten the knot. It's so thick. Okay. Now I think this is now this is a 150 pound line. Um, they did suggest 200, which is even harder to <laughs> pull. Okay. So that's your knot and put it tight now that's me i've obviously got this in a light box here to film it and that's about as best as i can do you see that knot there pulling as hard as i can so what i've done is i've got a two fit two foot lump of wood that i found lying around i've put two screws in one on that end and one on that end and it just helps and then when you put the swivel over there you can pull it nice and tight like that um, I mean I'm only using one hand on that but if you lie that on your leg or something and keep pulling that'll tighten that knot up there you go it works quite well and then you want to do the same for your hook like that They're quite small these hooks but apparently um, 5.0 is, is, is ample here so we got one, two, three, and then on that fourth one go round. And obviously you're going to moisten that as well, even though it's so thick. Okay, place that on our patented uh, wood rig pulling machine. might have to just notch that down a bit there you go that's not a bad knot at all actually and then clip that off not too close okay okay so the first part of the rig then is a three foot hook snood with your big swivel on this end 
Now you're going to be fishing over cleanish ground, but I always use these grip leads because of that bait clip there. And that's what we're going to be using on this rig as well. I'd also put a 200 pound swivel on the weight as well using a clip like that. Uh, the reason for that is you might pick up a conger as well with this and that, that turning and twisting is going to be needed on both the hook length and the rig there as well. Okay, so you're going to tie onto that swivel there um, your other length of line. So in my left hand here I've got the... Um, so in my... So on my left hand here I've got that hook... So in my left hand here I've got the uh, hook snood and then in my right hand this this one here is going down to the weight and then you want to thread the line in my right hand that's come up from the lead into that swivel there. Before you do, let's put a bead on there. These are 8 mil beads and um, sometimes the the hole isn't big enough for the line and actually on these ones I've just drilled through it through it using a Dremel um, but uh, that you should be able to find a bead for this like that and then you want your swivel and then you want another bead and then you've left with that running end of the line and that running end of the line there attaches to the swivel that's got the uh, hook on the end of it. Now if you've measured it all correctly when the hook goes on to the clip there and then you move it all the way up you should find that the line will be like that and then in my left hand here between my thumb and forefingers this swivel goes to the main line and then on impact this hook will come off okay the fish should take the the bait and that's it really it's quite simple you don't need massive hooks I thought you did uh, you don't necessarily need wire although a tote will bite through pretty much everything um, but they said to go for the 200 pound mono uh, yeah give it a go let us know how you get on um, and please do subscribe uh, to us it would be great to have you on board and listen to what you've you know maybe you've caught a tope i'd love to hear from someone that has thanks very much